One day, part of Shelton Harbor and Oakland Bay Marina's dioxin-tainted shore will be restored from this to this at the confluence of Goldsboro and Shelton Creeks. Port of Shelton Executive Director John Dobson explained how that will happen. Bury it. Just bury it. Right now, the dioxin in Oakland Bay is about six inches, uh, six to 12 inches under a silt mesh, if you will, that, that's just naturally formed from coming off Goldsboro. So the concept uh, with the drawings that you see there is literally to redirect the flow coming out of Goldsboro. Dioxins are a group of toxic chemicals used in the timber industry that are harmful to humans and marine life. Dobson estimates the shoreline restoration project will cost upwards of $9 million to complete. The port now has $2.56 million in grants already dedicated to get work underway. We couldn't really do anything until you, you had guaranteed funds. Now that we have that, uh, the, the tribe will start probably going into uh, uh, more um, definitive engineering drawings and, and start to really tell the picture. And so by the end of this year, we should see at least some progress beginning uh, in the bay itself, be it pulling pilings or something like that. Dobson said the project would include work on the port's marina facilities, including foot access from downtown Shelton and work on the marina docks. We've set aside $1 million for the rebuilding of the, uh, the docks themselves, and then another 300000 will be the following year uh, to reposition and bring in those new docks uh, and uh, rearrange the pilings that are out there. Uh, a lot of the boathouses are going to get shuffled and moved, and I know that's going to be... It's going to be a challenge for everybody because, you know, it's change and it's drastic change. Brandon Palmer, Port of Shelton engineering manager, shared the benefits of the project. Uh, but what we're trying to do is create the most natural shoreline we can, uh, given what we have to work with. And so it would allow salt marsh plants to reestablish in that area. Palmer explained what project work would be done. One of the initial um, portions of work would be to place a bunch of engineered log jams at the mouth of Goldsboro Creek. And that would help capture sediment that's naturally migrating down the stream. And the other thing that's going to happen is the port owns property called Eagle Point, which is across, um, across the bay from the Oakland Bay Marina. Um, it's outstanding habitat. It has, um, has estuary, it has upland, it has a lot of gravel recruitment, which is important for um, the health of shorelines. And so that would be purchased from the port. Um, and put into permanent conservancy status. It's actually the, it's the best habitat that out-migrating Salmonid Sea after leaving uh, Shelton Creek or Goldsboro Creek. The project involves a partnership between the Port of Shelton, Simpson Timber Company, and the Squaxin Tribe. Also involved as partners is the South Puget Sound Salmon Enhancement Group, Mason Conservation District, and the Port and Simpson Timbers consultant firm, Anchor QEA. Obviously the bay is, is the main thing that everyone is really after to fix, but at the same time we have got at the marina several problems. Uh, number one, we have a bulkhead down there that's failing. Uh, this happens to be Simpson Lumber Company property, uh, as is this area through here. All of this is Simpson's. So this is part of what we want to acquire. These red lines that work way out here, that's the fill material we're talking about. So that entire log dump will get uh, reconstituted. Uh, it's not that we're going to create more land, but it will make this land here usable for parking area, uh, for public access. Mm -hmm. And then we'll redo a complete new boat ramp along here, uh, where the current one is at, but it'll be shaped considerably different, uh, make it easier. Right now, if it's at low tide, you can't get into the bay. Uh, this is our current parking area. It will stabilize all of that from, from the port standpoint. And then, like I said, of course, we have access on the main pier and then rebuilding both of these. Uh, on the right-hand side is what they used to call the pear orchard. That's a park and ride, and the city has some great plans to redo that park and ride along with a walking trail system that will come right over here underneath the um, rail trestle. And of course, the port wants to hook on directly to that as well because of our not only our tenants, but uh, our transient mortgage folk that come into Shelton will be able then to come out on another walking trail. And as you saw in the images where the seagrasses are at, our hopes are that we can put some uh, walking, a boardwalk type system that will go out onto that so that people get a chance to look at nature itself uh, and then connect back up with the rail system here or underneath the rail uh, and then through the pear orchard onto Front Street 
Dobson sees great possibilities resulting from the marina and the shoreline restoration project. There's lots and lots of opportunities, I think, for this to really change, I think, the dynamics of, of, of uh, Shelton. Uh, at least give um, the city fathers and, and, and the business people a new focus of, and tie that in with Sierra Pacific uh, coming on board and building a whole new mill site down there. Uh, state of the art. Uh, they're redirecting some of the traffic that's kind of be coming in with the logs, etc. I'm Jeff Chu for iFiber One News.